welcome to my room tour. Um, I'm, excuse the way I look, I'm very sweaty right now because Ireland's going through a heat wave. But anyway, that's besides the point. So I was watching um, Dita Von uh, house tour the other day and her house looks amazing. Her house looks unreal. And uh, she was talking about how she's like a maximalist, which I'm like, that's a fancy name for a hoarder. And that's me. So I was like, you know what? Let me show you around my bedroom because I really like my bedroom. My bedroom is my safe haven. I spend all my time in here when I'm at home and I like to spread my whole entire annoying ass personality in my bedroom, to my bedroom, whatever. Um, so yeah, um, I was like, let me show you what my bedroom looks like. Um, I've done videos like these before and I love watching room tours. So enough talking and let me show you around. Um, so yeah, let's go. MTV, my crib, my crib, whatever, let's go. It's too hot to speak. My brain is cooking. Okay, cool. So the first thing you see when you walk into my bedroom is obviously my door. Um, so this is what my bedroom door looks like. Um, those are old duct tape marks because I used to have fairy lights all over here, but then they burnt out, so I took them down. So I have this, the planet's print, obviously. Love space, cool. Then I have... Um, old vinyls that are like either broken, scratched or don't work. And these are actually uh, vinyl coasters, but I put them on my door instead. And that's uh, Paramore's brand new ICD, which is super scratched. So I was like, you know what, instead of throwing it out, I'm gonna put it on my door. So I have old like records all over my door and I really like it. I think it looks really cool. Then I have this that says, love is the answer. Uh, this is actually a gift bag, but I cut this out really badly as you can see decided I'm gonna stick it to my wall uh door so that's that that's my door besties and then I have my work jacket and a lot of tote bags I like tote bags I have a lot probably way too many this tote bag holds all of my hats and then I just don't have anything in those ones so yeah then moving on is my paramore wall a lot of people always ask me about this wall, like when they walk into my bedroom, they're always like, um, why do you have empty picture frames? And if you're a Paramore fan like me, then you know, this was inspired by the Playing God music video, but also the back cover of Brand New Eyes CD where like they have all the empty frames and they have like a big mirror in the middle. But instead of having the mirror, I have my Paramore poster. I've had this since 2012. If you've seen my old room tours, you've seen this poster so many times. Um, this is actually not finished. I want to cover the entire wall in like empty picture frames. So it's a progress, um, work in progress. So that's that. And right underneath, I have my really messy um, shoe stand thingy. So these are my shoes looking great wow how interesting and then i have this whoa there's so much um this is a clown that i painted this is my first ever painting i did uh, i love him a paramore poster this is a ribbon of a happy birthday thing i had on my wall this cry hard dance harder paramore poster a polaroid i had um this is like white tack blue tack i had the letter d stuck on here like for diana but it fell off um i have some polaroids of me and my best friend aggie because we're super cute i have this and this and my little brother do this so i put it on my uh wall i have so many like blue tack marks everywhere because my room gets very hot during the summer and everything just falls off my wall so just ignore that we have this i've had this since like 2016 um, this is a print by my friend Danielle. I will link her artwork in the description below. Please check her out. She's so talented and I love everything she does. So I bought this print off of, uh, off of her. I love him. He is beautiful. And then my friend Ada drew this. This is me and she drew this for me as a Christmas present and I love it. A lot of people actually compliment this art piece when they walk into my room. They're like, wow, it looks exactly like you. And I'm like, thank you. My friend drew this. Um, then I have more prints. I got this from Lucky Lane in Limerick City. We have some dead flowers I've had for like four years. Then we have this fake flower. Then we have some, oh, Jesus, my group chat is popping off. 
Then we have some um, more prints. Uh, that's a Libra print and that's a Gemini print because I'm a Libra sun and a Gemini moon. I wanted to get a Virgo one because I'm a Virgo rising, but I couldn't find one, but I found that little map thing, so. My La La Land print, I got this in London like four years ago. And more Polaroids of me and my best friend, Aggie, because we're so cute. Um, then I have this uh, space. My group chat is popping off. I am so sorry. Um, I have the solar system poster because I love space. Uh, I think space is pretty cool. Then right here we have my The Lovers um, framed print. I love this so much. Um, I think I got it on... Where did I get it from? I actually can't remember. If I remember, I will link it down below. Lads, shut up. Then I have this, another record, and I have this little thing here that I got from Angel Times in Limerick City, another dead flower, <laughs> and more prints. Um, I painted this, and I painted that. Um, I got that from Tiger. It was actually like a f uh, photo frame thing, but I just wanted the picture of the moon. I got this from Lucky Lane. Lucky Lane, my mom gave me this. It's just this little poster. Um, and this is my Polaroid wall. Um, yeah, I have quite a lot, quite a few Polaroids here of me and my homies. So yeah, uh, moving on. This big tarot card spreadsheet that my friend Aggie got me from New York. Uh, more prints. And yeah, and I have these like bat shaped purple fairy lights uh, that my friend Josh got me for my birthday like two years ago. Then moving on, I have Miss Haley Williams, literally the love of my life. Um, I got this from the Petals for Armor uh, vinyl. I had a big water parks poster here, but it fell off the other day and I can't be bothered to put it back up. And then by my bed, I have a lot of old photos of my friends and I and my family and all that fun stuff. A lot of them have fallen off actually, as you can see, but um, whatever, it doesn't bother me. Then I have this big tapestry. Uh, my f old friend gave this to me. I actually don't know where he got this from. I'm sure you can find it online if you search tarot card tapestry. So it's the star tarot card, but I also like how it has the astrological wheel on it. So that's very cool. And that's my bed. This is my cozy bed. I have my laptop there and my phone. So yeah, love my bed. Very comfortable. Very cool. Very interesting. And yeah, um, moving on, I have this Neg Deep poster that I got when I went to see them live. Um, love that, it's really cool. And I have my ring light here, and this is my, um, what are they called? Clothes hanger uh, thingy. So I have a lot of tote bags here, like a lot of tote bags. I'm not gonna go through all of them because uh, honestly, who cares? I have my bathrobe on top of it, but I have like all my jackets here. I keep like all my jackets in here. So it looks intense. <laughs> I swear it's clean. It's just my robe is hiding everything. So, so yeah. And then moving on to this area. So here I have more Polaroids of me and my friends, pictures of my friends and I, uh, an Edda Netty drawing that I did. <clears throat> um, Cause me and Aggie, that's like our show. Uh, the best childhood movie ever. Um, this, the room poster, obviously iconic. And then I have this clothes hanger that I put here, but um, I decided to put all my glasses and like head accessories on it. So it looks very cluttered right now, but whatever, I don't really care. Then I have this that my best friend Laura gave me and she also gave me this and she put my name in it. That's so cute. And uh, yeah, more pictures of me and my friends, more prints. I drew this and this. This is a flan fiber that my old friend Laura gave to me. Um, some stars. And yeah, that's like basically that area. Um, as you can tell, you can see like a lot of photos have fallen off, but whatever, it doesn't bother me. Moving over here, I have um, the sun. Love her, she's cool. I have my plant, uh, a moonlight, and I have two teddies that are chilling there. I got this from my best friend, Laura, and this I got from my mom. So yeah, and then I just have my uh, kind of broken 
uh, bedside table that I keep here. I have like a lot of bags in there underneath the thing, but it's kind of a mess. So like whatever, not going to go into it. And then moving over here, it looks cluttered. Another plant. And behind the plant, I actually have a little place where I stick uh, empty lighters uh, on. So that's my lighter wall. And then here I have like an air freshener and my little porcelain clown who I love so much. Got him at a thrift store. This is, it looks messy because all my incense ash keeps falling on it. Like gross, but like ignore it. This is my speaker. This was actually my uncle's like years ago, but then I stole it from him when he moved away. I have my hairbrush. I have some candles here and some empty glass bottles that I use this actually... Oh, I use this to fill up with water and then water my plants. I have a Jack Daniels bottle with some dead roses in it because hashtag Tumblr. And we have another clown. I love him. He's so cute. He's just chilling. Um, and yeah, and here it's like a little uh, thing where I keep a lot of my jewelry in. And this, actually I stole this from my friend. It's dead. I know that the plant is dead. It literally died the second I brought it into my house. But uh, I'm going to take it out and then like re like put some other plants in it. I just think it's so cute. My friend stole my friend stole this from a pub when we went camping. But then I was like, you know what? I think it looks cooler in my room. So I stole it from him. Glenn, if you ever watching this, I don't give a fuck. And then over here, I have this little fairy and she's holding a bag of crystals. This cool little robot that I got from Lucky Lane at Sage. Um, a little plant that like died and then came back to life. Incense holder and some crystals and this cute little um, cherub tea light holder. I think it's so cute. And here we have like some crystals, uh, the palmistry hand thing, more candles. This candle actually got bent during the sun. When it was sunny, like it, there's a heat wave right now and look at the way that this candle melted. So crazy. That's an incense holder. It's so cool. My friend Cal got it for me for my birthday. I have this little rose thing that my manager gave me. This plant that keeps dying and coming back to life and then dying again. I don't know. At the moment, she's not thriving, even though I water her and I give her everything she needs. She's still dead. So story of my life. Um, This little dude more candles and this cute little tea light holder that my friend Juliana got me and the moon and this Cordelia Fox American Horror Story uh pop thing whatever they're called so yeah and then that's my very interesting window uh moving over here I have my record player I have this lamp that my friend Rona got me for my birthday I love it it's super cool and then we have her she is the newest addi um, addition to my bedroom her name is angelica and i got her at a thrift store i love china dolls and all that kind of stuff um because i used to have them a lot as a kid and i was like oh my god like i just need to bring her home she's so cute i have this skull that my friend danielle uh painted i bought it off her super cute and here we have my two candles and obviously this little it's like a little witch's pot where you can put candles in but obviously they've all melted uh, another incense holder and like I just have a lot of candles everywhere because I love candles we have a few more crystals uh, and in here oh, oh great awesome and here I keep all my rings so all my rings are in there and I have these cute little clowns that my best friend Aggie got me uh, from Poland <sighs> moving on this is my bookshelf so right here we have some sea salt because witchcraft <laughs> um, no, we have some sea salt because I was uh, using it to clean my piercings. Uh, then we have some books. And as you can tell, literally every single book I own is either an astrology book or a tarot book. So that's the kind of stuff I'm into. We have a little frog, a singing bowl that I got in the milk market. Um, we have this little dude. Um, we have this little dude that is holding my sage and Palo Santo. And before you come at my throat, I know that using sage and Palo Santo is like uh, a closed practice. I did not buy these. I got these as a present and I was like, Do you know what? I'm just going to, I'm not going to throw it away. I'm just going to use it, but I will not buy it myself, if that makes sense, before you all attack me in the comments. Um, so I got, I got these as a gift. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to use it and just 
whatever, just not repurchase it. Does that make sense? Whatever. I don't care. You can cancel me. I don't give a fuck. Um, I stole this from a pub. Um, another little baby head. I love these. I wish I had more of these. And this just uh, holds all my change. So, and then I have more books. We have a Paramore uh, biography, a very own brand. And then we have my tarot decks. Um... My friend Cal got this for me for Christmas. I bought this myself. And then my ex-boyfriend bought me this. So my tarot decks. And then I have this cute little eye thing. And it just holds like jewelry and stuff like that. And I think it looks very cute. So that's that. Moving over here. I have a lot of unfinished artwork. I like painting. I don't necessarily think I'm good at it. But I just like painting because it's very therapeutic. But literally all of them are unfinished. Will I ever finish them? Who fucking knows? So over here I have another frog. And these two little clown uh, bookends. These little clown bookends that my supervisor actually gave me. And they're so pretty. Look at them. Oh, I just love clowns. We have two Barbie dolls. Because why not? My Polaroid camera. A little ghost lamp. And then we have all my like uh, journals and notebooks and diaries and whatever you want to call them. And some hair products, because why not? And then if you move my artwork, oh my god, oh jeez. I have every single one of these are like my old diaries, so it's a lot of spicy content in there. Uh, I have this little thing that holds my candles. Uh, my old high school yearbook and a full box of incense. I have two whole full boxes of incense. I'm never gonna run out. So, and actually, this is my first ever big proper painting. It's me and my best friend Aggie's like sexy aliens. Um, I think it looks cute. Um, I also have this. She looks terrible. I kind of like weird looking art. So, uh, yeah, I painted this. Um, I like art that looks kind of distorted or like weird. Oh my god, they're all falling. But this is like this is like a clown sad kind of self portrait thing I did. It's not finished as you can tell, and um. Uh, here I'm like working on a painting of like my friends and I as like sexy aliens but it's obviously not finished but I don't know if I'll ever finish it and moving on uh, this is my hanged man like hanged woman painting like a concept idea that I had I fucked up her leg so we're not gonna talk about it but once again not finished and this is my favorite painting that I've ever done I obviously this is not finished at all either he's missing a nose and there's a lot of detail you should fix or add his name is Vincent and I fucking love him this is probably my favorite piece that I've ever painted I just I don't know I love him I think it looks really cool so um that I'm working in a another painting of me and my friends lots of unfinished weird art and then moving on I have my art supplies <clears throat> So this is my little mixing palette thing. And I just have like a lot of paints and sketchbooks. And obviously my art supplies right next to it. Uh, moving the big canvas aside. It's actually um, a big picture of me and my friends. But I have it turned the other way. So I don't accidentally damage it. Uh, I have my records or my vinyls. So there's just a few. We have the Bring Me to Horizon Post-Human Survival Horror, we have Haley Williams, Petals for Armor, Lana Del Rey, Paramore, Water Parks, uh, More Bring Me the Horizon, Neg Deep, Amy Winehouse. See, this is what I meant by um, the uh, empty photo frame wall. That was the inspiration. And then right here, we have Otto Woods Drumstick. When I went to see Water Parks um, last year, and I caught it. And then I also have Austin Knight's uh, guitar pick. Um, I think it's kind of cool. Then we have a bottle of pink gin that uh, someone left at my house, but I thought it looked kind of cool, so I put it there. And then I have a lot of CDs in here. It's all just like CDs. Um, a candle in the back, my perfume. And I have this really cool Paramore cassette, After Laughter cassette tape that I got for my... Was it my 21st birthday? I think like three years ago. Super cute. Then in here I have my camera. Um, I have batteries in here and like a lot of women shit, like whatever, boring. And in here, this is kind of messy because this is like stuff I don't know where to put. I have some, um, I have some hair clips. 
at this box that's full of like so fancy soap and stuff and a lot of earrings and a lunchbox because uh it's very exciting so yeah um let me just move this back up then moving over here this is where i hang my towel and then here i have a tiny little mirror hello i am sweating I have this I want to believe poster, this Lucky Lane poster, and this Ireland poster that I thought was pretty. I have one skeleton here and another one here. I haven't named them yet, so. Then I have these uh, fairy lights that kind of look like um, those leaf fucking things. And then here I have my mirror. This is my mirror slash sliding wardrobe. I'm not going to show you the contents of my wardrobe. It's literally not that interesting. But um, this is my big mirror. And this is actually what sold the bedroom to me. Because the second when we came here for a viewing, I saw this like slide-in wardrobe mirror situation. And I was like, that's my room. I don't care. That's my bedroom. So this is my outfit. This is what I look like. Woo. Um, yeah. That's my wardrobe, besties. And then we've done a full circle. Whoa, cool, wild montage of my bedroom. Oh, I have my trash can there. Um, yes, that's my hair. I was cutting my hair this morning. Um, I have two boxes that like are filled with like stuff that I have no space for. Fuzzy slipper, sock things. And this is my bedside table. I have my coffee that's in a Not All Libras mug. I got this from Instagram from at Not All Geminis. Got these because I am a terrible person and I smoke, unfortunately. And then this is my ashtray. Um, some water. And then she's very dramatic. She, um, I swear, I don't water her for like a day. And she's like, I'm oh, lovely. I'm going to take a nap. And in here I have a photo of my best friend and I, Laura. She gave this to me for my birthday. And I keep it by my bedside table because we're cute. That's basically it. And that's basically it. That's my bedroom. It's, there's a lot to look at. Uh, my friend once came into my room and he was like, wow, your room is like very stimulating. And I'm like, I like it like this. I like a lot of clutter. Um, I like having a lot of stuff in random places. Um, so yeah, a hoarder, whatever the fuck you want to call me, I don't care. Um, oh, and I also forgot to show you, I have a carpet here, it's like a little rug, so, woo, fancy. So yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it for my bedroom. I'm sorry this was so long, but I've been wanting to make this for ages, so here you go. This is what my bedroom looks like. And I fucking love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye.